Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to talk about this fabulous bag from Lucky Fine, and I'm also going to tell you how you can win one just like it. If this sounds like something interesting to you, then just keep watching. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. Now, I know that many of you have been waiting very patiently for me to put this video up. Thank you for your patience. I love this bag. This bag was the it bag last spring and summer, and it's back again, and I really love this one in particular. I'm going to take you on a tour of this bag. I also decided to do a What's in My Purse series anyway, and I'm going to see how much I can fit in here. I've had this bag for a couple of weeks, and honestly, it matches with everything. So as we're going through this video, I am going to be running clips off to the side, showing this with different outfits. I want to take just a moment to thank Lucky Fine for sending this bag to me for review on this channel. And I also want to thank them for being generous enough to send a second bag that I can give to one of you in the giveaway. Without further ado, let's take a tour of this bag. I am going to bring this in close in just a moment, but I wanted to release the shoulder strap and show you just how long this is. I was able to adjust this so that it hit me at just the right place. I can wear this both over the shoulder and as a crossbody, which you'll see in the try-ons. I love the cognac color. This feels like a faux leather to me. It does have these little loops that connect so that the strap isn't sticking out funny. The hardware on this bag is a gold, which goes really well with this earthy natural color. Let me bring this in closer to show you. I do want to mention that this bag sells for $36.99 on the Lucky Fine website, and I think that is a bargain. This style bag was really on trend last season, and it continues to be this season, and I was looking for one actively. The least expensive one that I could find in my area, and that was at a discount department store, was around $50. So I think the price point for this is actually very affordable. Here's a look at the straps connected to the bag, and as I mentioned, it does have gold hardware. Here's a close-up of this adjustable strap. I always appreciate when they have these loops that hold down the end of the strap, and then you can also see the gold hardware. The first thing that struck me when I took this bag out of the package when it was sent to me is how perfectly and immaculately this weaving is done. I love how the tone of the weaving is variegated, so some parts are a little bit more on the red tone, and then some are deeper and some are lighter. I really like the texture and the pattern of this bag. I'm glad that it's not just a flat weave. It has some visual interest with the different colors. Probably my favorite part of the bag is that they incorporated into the design this closure. I'm going to show you how this works, but I think this is a really pretty element, and I have to tell you, I've been using this for a while now, and it's also a very sturdy clasp. You wouldn't think so because it's a woven material, but it actually holds the purse together and closed. And in order to open the bag, you just slip the loop off, and you can see that it comes off very easily, but when it's on, because of the way it's angled, it really does secure the top of this bag. What I'm showing you now are the gusseted sides. This is imperative for a bag that opens all the way, as this one does. This way, when you open the bag, all of your items are still safe in the bag, and they're not going to fall out. This bag has a black cloth lining that feels like a cotton to me, and you can see that it is very roomy. This bag does not have any interior pockets, but I really wouldn't expect it to for the size. Here's a look at the weave on the back, and you can see that the pattern is somewhat different. In the back, it has a darker circle here, and then I'll turn it back around. And then on the front, you have kind of a starburst pattern almost. Now, I suspect that because this bag is made out of rattan, that all of the patterns will be slightly different because it's a natural fiber. And with that said, I kind of think that's fun because it makes every bag unique. So here is the bag holding everything that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. If I'm going out to a festival or out shopping, I might not carry everything that's in this bag, but honestly, I wanted to see what fit in it. 
The bag is extremely well made, but it is also very lightweight, which comes in handy because as you know, once you fill up a bag, it weighs more. You can see that that clasp, even though it's woven, is holding strong. And I also want to point out that it's not tugging and pulling at any seams. Everything that's in here is very secure. I'm going to pull out everything that is in this bag one at a time, just so that you can see just how much this bag will hold. Let me just show you everything that I put in here. I have a travel size pack of tissues, which I always have on me. I have a mini hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. I love the size of these. I have a full size pair of reading glasses and I say full size because I know they make purse size reading glasses that kind of fold up. I haven't had much luck with those. So I have a standard pair of Foster Grant reading glasses, full size, and they easily fit in this bag. I have a full key ring with a key fob on it and little bangles that I put on it. I have a glass nail file, my all-time favorite. I love these because they don't degrade like a regular emery board, but I digress. This one has a little case of its own. I like to pick up pens that are in a contrasting color to the lining of a bag. That's why I picked up this cobalt blue pen at a trade show, I believe. Random side note, this is a little plastic container. I picked this up right in like the pharmacy area in Walmart and I buy bulk packages of Eclipse gum and then I just fill this container and that way I always have gum but it's not a big bulky package and I do this no matter what purse I'm carrying. I also always carry a pair of nail clippers because anytime I don't have them, I need them. I also always carry a pair of tweezers with me. I can't tell you how many times I have needed these on the road. And sometimes you're just waiting for someone in a parking lot and you can flip your rearview mirror down and pluck a couple of eyebrows. I also have a full-size wallet. Well, to me, this is a full-size wallet. This holds all of my credit cards, any bills that I happen to have, and change. I'll turn this around. And the zippered compartment is where I put my change. I picked this one up because it kind of looked like a passport because it has these stamps on it. I've had this for years. I got this off of a clearance rack at Boscov's. Now I know what you're thinking. What about the one thing that every one of us carry? I don't have an iPhone, but my sister does. This is a Galaxy Note 5, just as a point of reference. So I took the dimensions of my sister's phone and compared it, and this phone is very similar in size. Now, initially I had concerns if my cell phone would even fit in this bag, let alone with everything else, but I just wanna show you that I'm not having to do any special contortion to get my cell phone into this bag. It fits easily and drops into place. Now, when carrying this bag, I would put my other items in first and then just pop the cell phone on top. And that's just so that it's easier to access. So right now I have hand sanitizer and my cell phone at the very top. So how do you enter this giveaway? It is very simple. You must be subscribed to this channel because all of the giveaways that I do on this channel are to thank you. Those of you that choose to spend time with me, I cannot tell you how much that means to me. You also must have a shipping address in the continental US and you must be over the age of 18. I'm going to keep this giveaway open until I'm looking at my calendar, Tuesday, March 31st. So that's roughly one week from the day that this video will go live. Now, because I own it and because I love it, I'm also going to tell you about a second bag from Lucky Fine. This one does not have a giveaway associated with it yet. I say that because you never know what's going to come up on my channel. This bag has quickly become my all-time favorite bag. Just like the round one that I showed you that's part of the giveaway, this one is neutral and goes with everything. On the Lucky Fine website, this one is called the Straw Hobo Weave Beach Bag, and it is only $28.99. This is so well made. I wanna show you a couple of the features of it because I really do love this bag. I love the round handles, so you can put it in the crook of your arm or you can carry it by the handles. I think that the interior is really interesting and I'll show you that in just a moment. 
I always in the summer like natural elements. So I really like this straw weave and it is substantial. It's not heavy, but it doesn't feel cheaply made at all. I'm going to show you the inside because this is a little bit unique as well. I typically don't like bags that are fully open. I don't feel that they're very secure. It is so easy for something to fall out of your bag or for someone to reach into it if you're on vacation. This bag has a drawstring compartment that blends into the color of the bag so you still get that chic look, but everything is secured. So this has a drawstring and then you just tuck it into the bag and everything stays secure. I'm hoping that you can see this, but inside the drawstring compartment is a slip pocket. I have placed my cell phone in here. Fun fact, I actually won this handbag in a giveaway from another YouTuber. This bag is right in line with Walmart pricing, but I think it's something kind of special and I just love it for spring and summer. I am going to link this exact bag in the description box below if you're interested. I'm curious which one of these bags you like the most. I'm going to insert a poll right above. Let me know which of these two bags is your favorite. So let's talk about my outfit of the day. The white denim jacket that I have on, I picked up a couple of seasons ago at Boscov's off of a clearance rack. It is by the brand Amy. If I can find it on the Boscov's website, I will link it down below, but I don't know because it's been a couple of years. If you're looking for a good white denim jacket, by the way, Right now, my local Walmart, and probably online as well, has a white denim jacket that has about the same amount of stretch. It's also a little bit cropped, and it's only $19.99. I have it in a dark wash denim, but if I needed a white denim jacket, I would definitely pick that up. The top that I have on, I have had this for years. I often talk about figure flattering smoke and mirrors, and this top ticked all of the boxes. It has just enough ruching where it gently goes over the tummy. It's got a little bit of a diagonal pattern, which is always flattering. It has this pin tuck detail. It's not quite ruffles, but it gives a lot of texture. I cannot let go of this top, even though I have owned it and worn it for years. The jeans that I have on, I picked up at New York and Company. And a lot of you ladies have told me that you shop there. If I worked in an office environment, that would definitely be my jam. They do have some great deals. I often buy jewelry there, buy one, get two free, and they end up in my giveaways. But I digress, I picked up these jeans during one of the many sales at New York and Company, and I happen to still have the tags so I can tell you exactly what they are. These are a high waist, super skinny, and they are the Soho jeans with stretch. These are a size six, and lucky for me, they have lycra, so I can still fit in them. I picked these jeans up specifically because I really liked the snap detail at the bottom and the raw hem. When I tried them on, of course being 5'4", they were too long and they hit at an awkward place, and because of the snaps, I can't just roll them up. I was watching another YouTuber that's my height, and she was talking about ankle length pants with a raw hem and how that it's already raw and you can take a pair of scissors and cut it to the length you want it at and that is exactly what I did and I think that is brilliant. So I was so happy that I could pick up these jeans and then customize the length because of the raw hem. Now these jeans were originally $69.95. I never pay full price for anything at New York and Company. I always watch for their sales. Sometimes they even have jeans buy one, get one free, or minimally they'll have buy one, get one half off. I honestly don't recall what I paid for these at the time that I bought them, but I certainly did not pay $69.95. I'm showing you several different shoe options with this outfit because I have a video coming up on spring shoes and I kind of wanted to try out a couple of different looks. And I like to watch the footage back just like you do because sometimes I think something looks fabulous and then I watch the footage back and think, what was I thinking? And other times I watch the footage back and think, wow, that really looks cute. I'm going to wear that combination. So that's exactly what I did when I was doing this try on. I wanted to try a couple of different looks, but you will notice that in every single outfit, I am showing you one of the two bags that we talked about because I really do love them. And if you watch my channel regularly, you have been seeing these bags over and over because every time I need to film a head to toe look, 
I gravitate toward them, it's just because they're that neutral. I'm going to put a link to the Lucky Find website in the description box below. I will put links to both of these specific bags that I showed you. While you're there, take a look around. They have so many fun and affordable pieces on the Lucky Find website. I want to wish each and every one of you good luck with this giveaway. My fingers are crossed for all of you, and I also hope that you all stay safe and healthy. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend with me. I truly appreciate it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell. That way you'll see my future videos. Until next time, bye guys!